have to help me. Please help me. I pushed her down, and now she's gone. It was the only way I could get away from those horrible monsters. We were on our way back to Windhelm. We decided to take a shortcut, and those monsters surrounded us. I've never seen anything like them before. They were everywhere, all around us. There were so many of them. I... By the three! Look out! I need to go. I need to get out of here. Those things are everywhere. Please, my friend may still be alive. If you see her, you need to save her. We were near the center of the hot springs when we were attacked. I... I pushed Imhe down. It was the only thing I could do to get away. I wasn't thinking. I never meant to hurt her. Please, find Imhe. I need to go. Stay away from me, you monster. Damn it, woman. You need to come with me now. The sun hurts me more than you know. We need to get inside. Scales here is about to have a really bad day if she doesn't come with me right now. That bite, it's spreading faster than she realizes. These creatures are the twisted offspring of a vampire and their bite is just as dangerous. Once bitten, the curse seeps into your body. It gets into your blood until the fever takes you. Then the craving comes over you. The craving for blood. There may be a way. I need to get her back to my manor, though. If she stays out here too long, the sun will find her. Then she'll experience a pain like she has never felt before. Right now, she just needs to shut up and listen to me. I'm just like the creatures that attacked her, except my mind is my own and... I'm a little more sensitive to sunlight. Now, before you do something we'll both regret, hear me out. If I'm going to save Scales, I'm going to need your help. I need blood fiend dust. You can get it from the creatures that bit her. Then maybe we can reverse the effects and save Scales here. I'll keep her safe in the meantime. If you can get that dust, bring it to my manor. The cursed blood of my family does indeed run through my veins. I'm not ashamed of it. What I am ashamed of is what my people do with this power. I believe that I can trust you. If you help me with something, I'll do whatever you ask as long as it doesn't involve hurting anyone. Time to go, Scales. We need to make sure you don't turn into one of these creatures. What are you doing? No, don't let him take me.
big man said you'd be showing up soon. He's upstairs with the lizard girl. Scales tried to escape, so we locked her up. Nothing to worry about. Just want to make sure everyone stays safe. It won't be long before she gets that crazed look in her eyes, though. You saw those things out there. They're mindless monsters. As ugly as they are evil, and only interested in killing and feasting. Do you really want Scales out there attacking people? No? That's why I put her in a cage. There's a chance. But it's just that, a chance. There's no guarantee she'll survive the process. I've seen it kill as often as it cures. It's a risk, but the alternative is far, far worse. You've made the right decision. I promise I'll do everything in my power to help her. We'll watch over her. If she doesn't improve, we'll make sure she doesn't succumb to the bloodlust. Believe me, you won't regret this. Poor Scales burns with the blood fever. She'll be trying to eat every face she sees soon enough. Who would wish that fate upon her? Well, I suppose my father would, but you'll learn more about him shortly. I promise we'll look after Scales. We'll make sure that she's safe and that she doesn't hurt anyone. Now, I need your help. You saw for yourself. Vampire abominations prowl the springs. Those are my father's toys. Sick creations of his evil mind. We've all been infected, cursed, plagued. Call it what you will, we're vampires. But we don't have to succumb to the curse's savage nature. My father thinks otherwise. He believes we should embrace the bloodlust, the power, taking those who can't oppose us and making them our own. A civil war rages through East March. He feels the time is right to strike. He wants to grow an army of undead before anyone notices. My father must be stopped at all costs. He's already targeted the Winterland Hunters. He's about to turn them into his puppets. Joruk downstairs can tell you how to save them. That's our first step. We turn my father into dust, and end his tyranny once and for all. The Hunters are merely a distraction. If we deny him their blood, he'll grow curious, perhaps even vulnerable. He'll want to know who interfered with his plans. This world is a deadly place, when the sun glows bright in the sky. It's just too dangerous outside. Even the wounds I recently suffered require time and a great deal of blood to overcome. Imagine the cost of trying to deal with all those hunters. I must say you are a strange one. Others would have drawn weapons the moment they saw what I was. Anyway, I could attempt to scare them away, but they're hunters. I don't suspect they scare very easily. I hope Valeric didn't convince you to join our cause. Our battles never end well. True, his father's a bastard, but he's a strong bastard. Valeric can't beat him, and those who help us usually die. But enough depressing talk. How can Jeruk help you? Yes, yes, Jeruk always has a plan. The blood fiends hunt by scent. They have the hunter's scent and await the command to strike. If we mask the scent, the blood fiends will lose interest and wander off. The hunters will be saved. Take this liquid. It is a gift from Jeruk's close friends, Cello and Harp. Don't ask what it is you don't want to know. Splash it on the hunters. Make them smell like something the blood fiends won't want to eat. Oh, they'll hate it. They'll probably try to kill you. It's best if you rough them up a bit first. Show them who's stronger. Then splash it in their faces. As long as they end up very smelly, the hunters should be safe.
Majorn, my master, would like to speak with you. You've made contact with Majorn's son, Valeric. He's a troubled young man, ashamed of his heritage. Majorn simply wishes to end the conflict with his son. For this reason, my lord requests to meet with you. Oh, it's not just you. Others have tried to help Valeric. They either see how futile their task is, or they fail. My master wants to explain this to you. You don't have to make any decisions right now. Just hear him out. You deny an invitation from my lord? You are foolish, just like the ones before you. Majorn shall know of this. You have made a terrible mistake this day. Unholy stink! It's horrible! Smell! I need to get this off me! Cat piss? Who throws cat piss on people? Get this off me!
You saved the lives of the hunters. You ruined their clothes, but you saved their lives. My father will be upset when his slaves fail to locate new prey. He'll become curious. Then we'll catch him off guard. My father won't risk going outside. It's too dangerous. The sun is deadly to his ancient form. No, he'll send his thrall Tunis to see what went wrong. We need to catch my father before he returns to the crypts and locks the doors behind him. Rala will sneak into my father's manor and wait for Tunis to return. She'll deal with him. I need you to enter the crypts. Rala may be a vampire, but she's still young. She wouldn't stand it. Rala is quick. She can blend with the shadows. Slitting a thrall's throat is well within her capabilities. But someone more powerful than her needs to confront my father. Please leave me alone. I don't want to talk about what happened here. I couldn't resist the urge. I had to feed. Valeric keeps us locked away. He doesn't let us feed. Not naturally. Not like this. I need blood to survive. Why deny me this pleasure? I don't care what Valeric taught us. This is who we are. This is what we are. If we ever hope to defeat the Ancients, we must embrace the power as they do. We can't keep feeding on skeevers and hope to grow strong. We must. We must feast. You can't stop me. No one can stop me. I'll continue to feed. I'll grow strong. I'll defeat the Ancients. I warned you, but you just don't listen. Valeric won't hold me back any longer. I'll become stronger than the Ancients and destroy them all.
day. Come, and feast upon your sweet, sweet blood! Now you shall die! He's gone. I can feel it. His presence faded when you struck him down. But so is dear Rala. I shouldn't have sent her. She wasn't ready. Of course, it wasn't your fault. You did what was necessary. It's just a shame to lose a friend. May she rest knowing that my father's tyranny has ended. We will leave this place. Losing Rala. I see now that my friends aren't ready to be on their own. I'll continue to train those new to this life, temper them, teach them not to succumb to the maddening bloodlust. We can't thank you enough. My father was evil. He abused the gifts we've been given. With him gone, we have a chance to live peacefully. Well, as peacefully as our kind can. You've done a great thing, ridding this world of my father. Speak. Tell me your desire, and I shall make it so. My blood? Do you intend to turn the Scald King into one of us? Why would you help us stop my father just to create another vampire? You have earned my trust, friend. Therefore, I must believe you speak the truth. Take it. Save the King. But don't make me regret giving this to you. Traveler, join us! Shaw's blood. You're a serious one, aren't you? Why not stop and enjoy the springs with us? Business. We have no business, stranger. No war, no orcs, and no giants. We just relax and enjoy the hot springs. But, now that you mention it, my friend Greta heard about some special bath salts. They're made at the Darkwater Crossing Apothecary. She went to get some, but she hasn't returned. See if you can find her, or better yet,
just bring us those swords.
What can laughs do for you? You need something special? Not so loud. Laughs at danger is an honest Argonian merchant. Daril is very powerful, very dangerous, and very expensive. Maybe yes, maybe no. There's a big demand for Daril right now. Nords really want the stuff. But something isn't right. I might stop carrying the stuff. Daril allows Argonians to see the layers of light and sound behind the world. But smooth skins? Small doses may work for smooth skins, but I don't know. Very dangerous. Maybe yes, maybe no. There's a big demand for Daryl right now. Daryl is very dangerous and very hard to get. Demand is high, so price is high. Quiet. Fine. Go. Don't look for laughs at danger again. May the doors of oblivion be flung wide! I need help! I hope you can help me.
You're back. Did you get the bath salts? Really? Hand them over then. Let's get this party started. Hey, she's nice and all, but she's clingy. She was starting to mess with my relaxed attitude. But you brought the salts. Let's just enjoy them. <laughs> That's a good one. What a joker. A zombie. Come on. Hands them over. Yes, this is going to be epic, my friends. Epic! Prepare for ultimate relaxation. What is that stuff, Draloff? It burns. This doesn't feel very relaxed. to meet. You know the rules. No one's allowed inside without authorization. Did you see the dark elf noble by the forge? He smiled at me. Have you seen how it decent carries on with that dark elf? It's disgusting! The celebration has been good for me. Drink in peace. Welcome to Windhelm.
What can I do for you? These... These are my mother's remains. I thought this urn had been lost forever. I carved the designs onto the urn myself. Pictures of things my mother loved. I can't believe thieves would steal it. Thank you for returning it to me. What do you want? Thank <laughs> you. 